Why do we have to stay home and stick to social distancing? Four months into the COVID-19 outbreak, or now we should actually say the pandemic, the virus has spread to 205 countries or territories around the world. By April 3rd, the total confirmed cases had passed 1 million. Every country is trying its best to slow down the transmission, and scientists everywhere are working hard to find a vaccine. However, it will still be quite some time before we can get our hands on a vaccine. So the best solution for now to avoid catching the virus is not being physically close to others. This is social distancing. In the past two weeks, news outlets, celebrities and health organizations have been calling on people to stay at home as much as possible. Stay home. Stay at home. Stay home. Staying safe. Countries like Italy, Spain, France and the UK have issued restrictive lockdowns and many states in the US have implemented stay at home orders. But there are still a lot of people who think self-isolation is pointless because they're not sick. Here's why social distancing is absolutely essential. Many people, including US President Donald Trump, initially claimed the coronavirus was like the flu, although he denies that now. But in fact, if we compare them, there are really important differences. r not is a term that we see quite a lot these days. It indicates how contagious a disease is. The r not of flu is 1.3 meaning every one sick person will pass the virus to 1.3 others. The r not of COVID-19 is currently thought to be 2 to 2.5, meaning one ill person will infect 2 to 2.5 others. It might seem a small increase, but if you do the maths, after 10 rounds, that's around 50 people sick with flu versus more than 2,000 people with COVID-19. Another major difference is the point at which an infected person feels sick. With flu, you start feeling bad very soon, but with COVID-19, it can take up to 14 days to even realize that you're unwell. And you could be contagious during this period, which leads to pre-symptomatic transmission. Anything you do that brings you in contact with others is a possible way of transmission. One more thing is that because the novel coronavirus has never been seen in humans before, no one is immune to it. Everyone is at risk of catching it. Until a vaccine is developed, we have to use physical measures to break the chain of transmission. With everyone at home, the virus has fewer people to infect and lesser chances of mutation. And without a host, the parasitic agent cannot live long. So everyone is asking, when is the end of this whole thing? I'm sorry, but the short answer is nobody knows. But we do know that a lot depends on each of us and how we behave. All of us have to take social distancing seriously. It can change the course of the pandemic. We all saw how bad the scenario was in Wuhan. The city was on lockdown since January 23rd. And look at it now, it's recovering. Staying at home may be difficult, but for the sake of yourself, your loved ones, that's the most important thing for you to do. That's it for today. And I hope now you understand how crucial social distancing is. If you want to check the previous episodes, please click these links. I'm Ning, I'll see you next time.